Okay, so now we're talking about a free response. And we want to create a confidence interval, right? So we're talking about confidence intervals. Okay, so the State Department of Education reports that 12% of high school students um, in that state attend private schools um, and that the state university run judge if the percentage is the same in their applicant pool admission officers plan to check um, a random sample okay over 10,000 applications on file to estimate the percentage of students applying for admission who attend private schools okay so what we're looking at is um, a population right of high school students all right uh, our P is the 12 percent the characteristic is attend private schools and they want to see that if in their sample of N of 10,000 uh, the percentage is the same that are applying from private schools right so maybe if there's a lower percentage are they going somewhere else or if there's a higher percentage you know are uh, our students who graduating from public institutions not feeling uh, as prepared right so they're looking at this kind of stuff so the admissions officers want to estimate the true percentage of private school acts to within four percent with a ninety percent confidence how many applications should they sample this is actually an algebra problem okay so you're gonna have the margin of error is equal to the z-score right times the standard deviation and we've done this a lot so the margin of error is going to be the 4% so you're going to have 0 0.04 and that's going to be equal to 90% confident comes with a z-score of 1.64 uh, 1.64 according to my reference sheet and then, of course, the standard deviation is the square root of P, my 12%, times my 1 minus P, which is going to be 0.88%, all over the sample size N that I want to look for. Okay. Now, you do have to square both sides. Okay. So you're going to get point. 0, 0, 1, 6, right, because 4 times 4 is 16, and i got to throw the two zeros on, is equal to, oh, let's bring up the calculator, okay, so 0 0.04 squared uh, is going to give you that, okay, and now 1.64 squared um, is going to give you 267, And that's going to be times, and let's just go ahead and do 0.12 times 0.88 to get it over with, and you get 1056. So you're going to have up here 1056 all divided by the N that I'm looking for. So now basically I need to divide by the 267. And I also need to divide by the 1056. So I'm going to divide by 267 and 1056 over here. Wow, I know that's getting small, but there it is. All right. And so that's going to give us, bring up the calculator, uh, 0 0.0016. Uh, divided by in parentheses 267 times 0 0.1056 uh, close it off hit enter and you're gonna have 0 0.00567 okay so uh oh oh I lost my out oh, there it is okay so uh, 0 0.00 Zero five, wasn't that what it was? Nope. <laughs> no, that's not what it was. Point zero zero five, all over one is equal to one over n. 
okay? So then n is going to be equal to the reciprocal of this number right here. So I just need to take the reciprocal of that number right there. Okay, so 1 over my answer is uh, 176 rounded to the nearest whole number. So they just need to take a sample of 176 frogs. All right, so basically I squared everything and then I divided by what was in the numerator and then I took the reciprocal of the fraction to get the n on the top. All right, so you can follow that method for pretty much everything uh, involving the margin of error and you'll be okay. Okay, that same process. Now, uh, they actually select a random sample of 450 applicants. Why'd you make me go through it? Never mind. And find that 46 of those students attend private school. Create a confidence interval. All right. Well, this is pretty straightforward with the calculator. Okay, this is literally what you want to do. All right, you want to go ahead and go to um, stat. And you want to go over to test. And for a confidence interval, I'm going to scroll up to, oops, A, which is my one proportion, one proportion Z interval. Okay? One proportion Z interval. That's what I'm looking for. My one proportion Z interval. And so now I have 46. Of those applicants and 450 so I can actually go ahead and do 46 applicants out of 450 that actually apply and I want a 90% confidence interval here so I'm going to plug in 0.9 as my confidence interval and then I calculate and this value right here this is my confidence interval so from about 7.8% to 12.6% okay so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say my 90 percent confidence interval is from 7.8 percent to about 12.6 percent that's my confidence interval all right and that makes us very happy because we just do it on the calculator interpret the confidence interval um, <clears throat> we are 90 percent confident that the true percentage of high school students applying from private schools is between 7.8% uh, and 12.6%. Okay, so you state the confidence, right? You state the population, you state the parameter, and then you state the interval. It's pretty formulaic, okay? You don't have to be real creative here. And so that makes us happy. Uh, explain what this means, uh, what this 90% confidence means in the context of this particular problem. Now, I, I know that the, the answer key says something a little bit different from, from this, okay? But basically what this means is um, that, ad, that admissions are close to the population proportion right that admissions are close to the population proportion um, we see in the high school students that uh, attend private 
school. And so this is sort of a conclusion that we're drawing, right? That admissions um, are close to the population proportion we see in the high school uh, students that attend private school. Okay. 12% um, is in the confidence interval. So we feel like we don't have strong evidence against believing that uh, their admissions are any different than what we see uh, from the general population. So that makes us happy. So this is kind of our thing. Um, you could include something that says maybe we don't have strong evidence, um, but I don't know if that's necessary or not. Okay. Uh, should the admissions officers conclude that the percentage of private school students in their application pool is lower than in the statewide enrollment of 12%? No, right? Because 12% is in the interval. Okay? Short and sweet. All right, this video was a little bit longer, um, mostly because of the algebra here. But you saw, right, this was pretty quick to calculate. Um, this follows our model sentence right here. Uh, this is a conclusion that I hope you can see is easy to reach. And, of course, this is that same conclusion, just to, uh, stated more succinctly. All right. So I hope you uh, appreciated free response and how to calculate a confidence interval. Look forward to uh, having you watch the next video.